a team of researchers from various institutions in China and Taiwan has developed a new way of making steel that offers more strength and ductility. The team describes part of the process and ingredients that went into manufacturing the new type of steel and suggests possible applications. As the researchers point out, there are many steel-based industrial applications that require a high degree of strength and ductility to be pulled or deformed without breaking. The higher grade of both, the better. But traditional steelmaking techniques usually require a compromise, more strength means less ductility, or vice versa. In this new effort, the researchers report that they have found a way to avoid this problem. To make the new steel, the researchers developed a new technique they call deformed and divided DNP. They cannot give all the details, of course, because that would prevent them from capitalizing on what they have created. But they do reveal that it belongs to a kind of metal the industry has defined as revolutionary steels, which are medium manganese steels that are made with 0.47% carbon. 10% manganese, 0.7% vanadium and 2.0% aluminum. They also report that the process involves cold roweling, which is followed by tempering in a low temperature environment, and that the metastable austenite grains are embedded somewhere in the process. This, they point out, helps retain ductility while allowing control defects that give metal its strength. The group claims that the result is a steel with an elasticity of 2.2 GPA and 16% uniform elongation, making it the best of its kind. They suggest that the desired properties are due to the type of matrix formed during the rolling and tampering process.